Go to Google Docs and you'll want to create a form. The form is what students are going to use to enter their answers that you can grade. You'll want to edit the form, creating a title and description, and then you'll want to ask student questions like their first name and their last name. I like to make a separate question for the first and last name so that throughout the personalized email that the student will get, I can refer to them by their first name. To the right of your screen, you'll notice icons with a pencil, duplicate icon, and a trash icon so that you can edit the question titles. You're also going to need to add a few more questions. Perhaps you'd like to know the student's ID number, but for sure you need to know the student's email address. So you'll need to add a question for email. Insert questions for what you want to know pertaining to your subject area. Be it a text field or a paragraph text where they can put in a chunk of text, or even if you're having them rate or check check boxes, that's up to you. Go ahead and fill out the rest of the form as you see fit. Once you have created the form, you need to share it with students. You'll notice a link to the form at the bottom of the sheet that you can share with students. I usually like to put this link on my website for students to fill out from there. Once students have filled out the form, you're going to want to go to the spreadsheet to view the results. Once students have filled out the form, it will populate into a spreadsheet that you're able to access, review student answers, and grade. While not required, you may want to duplicate the sheet. This will allow you to edit the data and change the column titles and to insert your own columns and extra things without worrying about messing up the form for future use. Create another couple of columns for grade and feedback or any other information that you might want to include in your email that you're going to send to each student. Go through and grade each student's answers. Give them an overall score, write them individualized and personalized feedback. You're going to be able to take that information and plug it into your email that you're going to send to each student so that each student receives a personalized and individualized response to how they did on the assignment. For the purpose of mail merge, it's easier if the column titles are single words. Unfortunately, if you change the column titles, it will change the wording on your form. This is why I recommend that you had duplicated the sheet so you can change the column titles without affecting your ability to use the form for future use. Make sure you have a column that says email, and more specifically, you want it to just be the single word email. Also pay attention to capitalization. When creating mail merge, easiest is to identify each field that you want by a single word. So notice that I changed that long question into just Q1 for easy reference in my mail merge. You will also have to refer to the sheet names within the mail merge. So you might want to rename all of your sheet tabs to be something that's a single word, all lowercase also. I named my duplicated sheet that had the data with my responses and grading on it, data. You'll need to click on the plus sign to add a blank sheet. This blank sheet is where you're going to put the directions for your mail merge. I renamed this sheet. It contains the key for applying the mail merge. I named it mail. You can name it whatever you like. On this sheet, you're going to need to go to the insert menu, and then all the way at the bottom, you will insert a script. The script that you're going to want to enter is a mail merge, so I just did a search for mail merge. More specifically, I'm looking for val merge, and so once I search for mail merge, I'm going to find the val merge script to install. Authorize val merge to operate within your spreadsheet. Once val merge is installed, you're going to need to copy and paste the key data from the sample sheet onto this sheet, which gives the directions for ValMerge to make your mail merge. The key on the left tells the ValMerge 
what information to put into the email. Where the values column is, is what you'll change to customize your email. You need to change the values in the value column to match the data that you have. So your data sheet, you're going to change it from being tasks into being the sheet title that contains your data. This will be the sheet that you duplicated. From user is going to be who it's from, so you can put your name in there. The subject template is the subject line, so you may want to customize this individually for the student. So I'll put in brackets first, meaning for their first name, and then the title of what I want to email to them so the students get a personalized email. Under email column is the title of the column that contains the email addresses for your students. I usually like to make sure that column is named email. And then the CC list, if you want to CC this email to someone, you can either type an email in there directly or you can say what column you would find the CC'd email in. And then under message template, that's where you're going to construct your message, the email to the student and you'll put in brackets any piece of information that's customized to the student. For example, their grade and their feedback and maybe even what they had answered. You can see from this screenshot that I have changed the default template to be my email that I want to send to students. So I have the message template say dear brackets first space bracket last so that I'm addressing the email individually to the student. I also had in the body of the email referred to the questions in bracket Q1 and bracket Q2 so that I could insert what the student had answered right into their response. And then I also included their grade bracket around the word grade so I would insert the student's individual grade into that email as well as bracket around feedback because that's what I named the feedback column. If you install the script, you'll notice an option at the toolbar that says Val Merge. And under Val Merge, you'll choose Mail Merge. You will need to enter the name of the sheet that contains the key. This is not the name of the sheet that contains the student data, but rather the sheet that gives the directions for the Mail Merge. You'll then get a confirmation that asks, is this the email that you want to send? You'll notice that it does have HTML tags in it. And then you would say yes, and it's going to send an individualized email to each student who submitted the form. So here's a sample email that shows it's addressed personally to me. You'll notice the subject line has my first name. This says, Dear Alice Keeler. So it's customized to myself. And it says that I submitted this score and that I got 100. It also tells me specifically what answers I submitted and tells me what feedback that the teacher gave me.